How's it going there today, everybody? This is Michael out in Maui. Aloha. So if you've been liking the content I've been putting out, I recommend subscribing to the channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. So right now I'm doing three videos a week, straight tutorial, you know, on how to throw. So today, I just wanted to talk about the throw. The release of the throw and what your legs are doing. I keep seeing, uh, you know, videos where people are saying, you know, your back leg is still on the ground. You know, you throw, this back leg stays on the ground. You don't want this back leg on the ground at all. You know, you're gonna lose like all your arm speed if this back leg is on the ground when you throw the disc. You know, it's just like a baseball pitcher. You know, a baseball pitcher throws the ball and he brings the back leg off the ground and throws off his front leg and he throws 100 miles an hour. He doesn't leave the back leg on the ground when he throws the ball because it's gonna kill his arm speed. And it's the same thing for throwing the disc. If this back leg stays on the ground and you haven't shifted all your weight to the front leg, it's gonna kill your arm speed. You really need to get used to throwing, you know, on one leg, so that way your upper body can rotate through smoother. You know, if you had this back leg on the ground, your back, you know, your back is gonna be tighter and your shoulders are gonna rotate slower because of the tension you know the back leg develops you know by holding the muscles on the back you know tight so when you're throwing <coughs> you always need to rotate you know or you know put all your weight onto that front leg i recommend if you can you know get the leg off the ground you know because then you know you transferred everything <coughs> but it's just you know it's all about your balance. You know, you got to have good balance. So when you come in, because you have good balance, you've bent your legs, <coughs> heads on top. See, so you're going to have balance to make that throw on one leg. You know, the only reason you're leaving the back leg on the ground probably, <coughs> you know, you just don't have the balance or, you know, you don't trust, th you know, that you know throwing the disc on that front leg only so I just you know recommend you know maybe slow down your run up and really concentrate on throwing on one leg here if this leg does stay on the ground you just got to make sure there's no weight on it you can drag your toe like if I run in and transfer all my weight I can drag this toe, but you just don't want any weight on that back leg. Because like I said, it's going to kill your arm speed by having any weight on this back leg. And that's for all your throws. You know, your, you know, tee off, you know, mid ranges, fairway drivers, you got to get the weight off the back leg. You know, throw on that front leg only. And just, you know, make sure you got a good bend in your leg because that'll give you the balance to throw on one leg. You know, so when you run in, slow down, bend your legs, you know, and make your throw. And that's, you know, because you'll have the balance right here. So anyway, so, you know, just remember you throw with all your weight on the front leg only. Don't use the back leg, It'll, it's going to kill your arm power. So anyways, this is uh, Michael in Maui. Aloha. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>